For a short time in my 30s, I'm going to say, I got caught up in that the whole motivational speaker thing. I'd go to conferences and buy tape sets and things, whether it was, you know, make a lot of money in real estate or uh, become a motivational speaker. I thought that was a kind of an interesting lifestyle. Uh, Zig Ziglar, Brian Tracy, Tony Robbins, and a bunch of other people that I don't remember. Uh, I feel that I got a... Uh, a lot out of them, uh, but I think after a while, whatever motivation I got from those motivational speakers just kind of went away, you know. <laughs> so I was back to where I was before I started that whole thing. So then, what do you do, right? Hey, it's Tim Patterson. This is a trade show guy. Monday morning coffee. We're into 2020. It is uh, January 13th uh, when this will finally make its way onto the uh, internet. Uh, 2020. I still have a bit of wonder that uh, it is 2020, but yes, we have indeed reached it. It's a new year. So how will you stay focused and motivated to get the things done that you want to do this year to get done? By the way, um, I've been uh, lucky enough to be able to self-publish a couple of books. I want to point these out to you, including Trade Show Superheroes and Exhibiting Zombies, 66 lists, making the most of your trade show marketing. It's really kind of the best of all the lists that I published on my blog for the last 11 years. Yes, TradeShowGuyBlog.com has been going for 11 years plus. And then the Trade Show Success, uh, 14 Proven Steps to Take Your Trade Show Marketing to the Next Level. They're uh, nice little paperbacks that you can buy for uh, under 20 bucks at uh, Amazon.com. Just search for them. So, getting things done. Uh I just was thinking there's a book out called Getting Things Done by, I think, uh, is it David Allen? Somebody Allen, um, which is a good book. I've read most of it. I would highly recommend it. But I'm, I want to talk about kind of focus and motivation. Now, I agree if you're trying to get things done at work, that's probably different than some sort of extracurricular project that you're working on. You know, at work, you're paid to be there. You're paid to get certain things done. You have tasks to get done. You have a certain amount of time in the day. You get paid a salary for that or, or hourly wage. And you have those things to do. And if you're lucky, you like, you like most of the things you do. If you got a good job and you like most of the people that you work with. So that's work. But there are other things, other situations, other circumstances. And it seems like if all of the uh, Tony Robbins and all those uh, motivational speakers are speaking to a particular type of people, they're assuming that the people they're speaking to have some sort of incredible goal, like uh, starting a company, writing a book, uh, writing a screenplay, getting a movie made, some big thing, running a marathon, uh, doubling their income, uh, getting a great new job, uh, whatever it is. It's you know, not directly related to their current job. Or if it is, it's sort of an extracurricular thing, which means that these people, and maybe it's you, and at times it's certainly been me, are trying to carve out time from their work day, uh, their family day, their kids' day, Days where you got to take out the garbage, cook a meal, walk the dog, see your parents, go to the grocery store, whatever. You're trying to find time to work on that particular project, that goal, that dream, that screenplay, that uh, novel, that startup. And, and so what does that take? Motivation? Focus? So let me stop here and give some definitions. Focus is a center of attention, a point of concentration, a state or condition that allows clear perception or understanding. Motivation is the act of being motivated. Motivated is to provide with a motive. What is your motive? Which is to have a strong desire or incentive to do well or succeed in some pursuit. So yeah, there's a difference between focus and motivation, but I think they do share a few things. You, know, you may be motivated to get that screenplay made into a Hollywood movie, but you need more than motivation. You need a way to get the screenplay written and read and produced, which means you need to focus on all the things to get that done. You know, it's been said that barring physical limitations and barriers, we as humans can, can pretty much learn anything we want to do anything we want. Of course, there are limits. Uh, physical barriers is what I'm talking about. A physical barrier would be this. Let's say when I was 20 years old, I wanted to be a center in the NBA, uh, but if I was 5 feet 10, that's not going to happen. If I was 7 feet tall, though, uh, and I was 20 years old, I might uh, be able to work hard enough and train hard enough and learn the skills, get the flexibility and all that stuff to achieve that goal. It still takes focus. It takes some motivation, I guess. Uh, but if you want to be a scientist, let's say an astrophysicist, uh, you could apply yourself take the courses and there's a good chance that if you really wanted it and it wouldn't allow and you wouldn't allow anything or anyone to stop you you could achieve that goal okay 
Uh, you could, you could, you know, find a way to get the job, to pay the money, to 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 get in the classes and 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 learn what you needed to learn. You could do that. The information is out there, and in most countries, I think uh, you could probably do that. Certainly, not everybody can do everything in whatever situation they're in. But the key is, you can do anything you want as long as you're willing to do the work, and learn what you need to do, and just keep pushing forward. And that takes focus. Uh, years ago, after I'd spent time and yes, a little money on uh, some of those uh, motivational tapes or CDs, I remember hearing this statement, you don't need motivation, you need focus. It was probably some marketing guy or something. And that got me to thinking, yes, you need focus, but you also need to make a commitment. Not to your spouse, not to your boss, not to your kids, a commitment to yourself. A couple of months ago, I was listening to a podcast, Seth Godin's Akimbo, and he told the, the brief story of a woman who, he was talking about decision-making and commitments, and he was talking about this woman who years ago made a decision that she was going to get up every morning and swim every day, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever it was, and everything else would come after that. She made that decision once. And I realized I'd made that same decision, not to swim, but uh, about 13 years ago. I decided I was going to do yoga every morning. And I made the decision once. And ever since then, I get up and do about eight or 10 minutes of yoga, stretching, breathing. I do it every day. I think maybe eight or 10 days a year, I don't because I'm on a camping trip or something and just it's inconvenient or impossible or whatever. Basically, I do it every single day. It was an easy decision to make, and I made it only once. You know, same with my effort. I've discussed this on this podcast uh, to write a novel. I'm not a novelist, but I'm working on it. Uh, I made a decision to spend about an hour a day writing, either first thing before I start at work or finding time later in the day. Depending upon my schedule, I find the time to write about an hour, maybe a thousand words. That's kind of my baseline. Uh, it might be great. It might be crap. Uh, but I would keep moving forward. And along the way, I want to learn how to make it better. So that's my focus. I've made a decision, made a commitment. And the thing is, you only have to make that decision once and as far as the focus a lot of things fall within that decision within that commitment uh all that stuff comes into play i i ask myself what's next in the story that i'm writing what's what's going to make it better what can i do to learn how to write a novel that's a page turner how to make that character good and believable so you kind of want to root for them and so on and so you know i, I read books I, I read blog posts and i find information that works for me same with my business. I, I, I own trade show guy exhibits and I get up every day, at least five days a week to work on the business and to bring in more clients and to, uh, you know, do the work that I've sold to the clients and make sure that they're pleased and happy. And, and that's part of what I do. Um, so I asked myself, what works to move the business forward within my area of focus? What do I need to do today that moves me toward those goals, towards my objectives? I don't think it's about motivation. I think motivation is good, but it's only the beginning. And once the motivation is gone, it's really about focus. And that focus comes from commitment. It's about making the adjustments along the way to keep you on the path that you're on. All right. So let's uh, dispense with trade show tip of the week. Because I'm not focused on that, I'm focused on this. <laughs> uh, I do have one good thing, though. And I think the, I thought, well, what's, what's one good thing this week? Because I had a whole bunch last week. You should go back and check out. There was some fun stuff last week. This week, I think NFL playoffs. You know, I root for the Seattle Seahawks. They're the closest team to where I am. I've rooted for them for years. And as of this recording, uh, they are still in it, but they have a game coming up soon. Maybe they'll win, maybe not. Anyway, uh, the New England Patriots are not in the playoffs anymore, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> so that's good. Anyway, that's one good thing. The NFL playoffs are actually pretty short, not like NBA playoffs, which go on for like, you know, what, months. Uh, it happens pretty quick, and the next thing you know it, the hype starts to build for the Super Bowl, which is often a letdown unless your team is in it. Uh, but in any event, the NFL playoffs are this week's one good thing. I'm going to enjoy them while they're here. Have a great week. Stay focused, and see you next week on Trade Show Guy, Monday morning coffee.